day, everybody. Welcome to the Lunch Hour Lowdown. I am your host, Doug Walsh, and I've got my awesome horse today, Misty, with me, who is uh, in training. And we are talking about the difference between a relaxed horse and a lazy horse. So it's pretty hot here today in South Florida. We've got some flies all around, but I want my horse to be relaxed and be with me, not lazy in a position where if I ask her to do something, she's not willing to want to do it. So when you have lazy horses, sometimes they're, you consider them like a sleeping dragon where they're in this comatose state um, and then they don't understand how to manage their energy and then they either explode or they just never move and become light off of our tools, which we've talked about before. So when I have Misty here, if I'm not asking her to do anything, she should be in a relaxed state. If I ask her to move off, I'm gonna pick up that rein. I'm gonna put my inside leg on. I want her to walk around just with what I'm looking to do with her energy. If I ask her to stop, I'm just gonna to ask to squeeze with my legs, ask her to stop and go back to that relaxed state. So remember, there is a huge difference between a relaxed horse but is still very responsive to your aids versus a lazy horse that you've got to try to figure out how to get them to move. So in my videos, I also show how to take a lazy horse and teach them how to become more responsive without using whips and spurs and things like that, but getting them, getting them to be more sensitive to your aids. I hope you've enjoyed this little episode of the Lunch Hour Lowdown. Thanks so much. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.